What's up guys and welcome back to Poor Man Printing and I know it's been a while but I have so much stuff going on right now and it's crazy like this weekend I am packed with stuff to do which is going to be a surprise it's going to be a big surprise and I'm going to video it I can't wait I can't wait but that's not the reason why I'm making this video I'm making the video uh talking about the next drop that's happening uh and a little bit of crypto news um uh, me starting to pretty much uh Get noticed. Um, the comics are are just on fire right now. I mean, it's crazy. Let's roll that intro. Okay, guys, let's start this thing off. Let's take a look at the Omi price. What are we doing right now? Okay, as of right now, we are trading at 005677. Perfect. Perfect. Because this is what poor man got his average at. I'm just saying. Just saying. <laughs> up and down, up and down. Here we go. We all know the drill, guys. So we're looking pretty good. We actually got a really good floor right now. Now, moving on to Throg. How about that? I ain't never seen this character, so I don't know nothing about it, you know. The Modern Marvel Series 2, Throg, a former college football star, Simon Walderson, was cursed by a witch and transformed into a frog. Now wielding the mighty four jaw learner, or whatever the hell that is, he is the mighty Throg. Although physical resemblance amphibian form of Thor, don't be fooled. Throg is a different being who shares the God of Thunder's powers. Whoever holds this hammer, if they be worthy, shall possess the power of Throg. So you want to watch the uh, the video? I'll cut the music out and play some kind of good music. How about that, guys? <laughs> So, let's check out the prices and how many is actually dropping. Uh, so, right now we have the uncommon list price $50, edition 6630 That's not too bad a price. Being a blind box, it is. I like the blind boxes. I really do. It gives everybody a chance to get something cool, you know. Right here we have the rare list price $50, which are all $50. I don't even know why I'm telling y'all this. It's stupid. But edition 4225 uh, and right here we have the ultra rare edition 2080 so it's gonna be like pray to the drop gods if you get one so i'm guessing but i'm also going to tell you guys like don't sleep on this frog i know it looks kind of retarded like i ain't never seen no throg before i don't know nothing about it i don't follow comics or anything like that i've seen this I'm like is this a joke at first but uh pay attention because I believe it's going to be a comic out with this dude. If it ain't already out. Well, I know it's not out on Vivi. But Vivi could possibly drop the comic uh, of this dude here. So, yeah. Pay attention and try to get it. I'm definitely going to try to get it. I know I only get one, if any. <laughs> it's crazy right now, guys. It is crazy. So, let's move on to Ikomi. Ikomi's making some moves right here, too. Check this out. Little news flash, guys. Little news flash. Little article right here. Ecomi and its NFT platform, Vivi, are carving out its unique niche in NFTs. You never know what might happen to the old Spider Man comic you once loved but lost and threw out. What if that same comic could be bought and saved online only to grow in value? Ecomi and Vivi are looking to address exactly that. Today's generation has found a new way to turn digital comics into high value digital NFTs that can be re resold for two to 10 times or more of that initial value. But this is not the reason why, like, it's a collectible. It's an NFT, yes, but you can flip them. I flip them. I, I don't collect, you know, comic books or anything. I never have, you know, I barely collected 
a few baseball cards, but when when the, all the collectors get on this app, then you can kiss it goodbye. Like good luck on any drop. I'm just saying. But yes, you can make money, but it's it's really made for, it's made for collectors, guys. It really is. Um, but this is what caught my attention right here, guys. Right here. With the recent September 17th announcement, the little bear deal and strong price action lately. Now, <laughs> I think this could be a misprint or a screw up in the article because this is a little bear and this is pretty big. But uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I think they meant to say little prince. I, I don't know. What do y'all think? Leave comments down below. You know, do you think we have Little Bear or do you think this is just a, a misprint right here? Maybe they meant to put a uh, Little Prince or something like that. I, I really don't know. Now I'm trying to make this a quick video. So let's move on to the next part right here. And this, I like this right here, guys, right here. Twitter is allowing Bitcoin tipping. Guys, crypto is the world. NFTs are going to change the world. You're going to be able to buy a car. You're going to be able to buy a house. NFTs are on the move, and only the select ones will make it, which is the ones with licensed brands. Now, I'm sure a few more, uh, like the artists, definitely the artists. Like, this is perfect for them. But, yeah, crypto is going to be the new money. I'm telling you. So, let's listen to this real quick, guys. Like something you see or hear on Twitter and want to give the content creator a tip? You can now do that with Bitcoin, the social media app announced on Thursday. Twitter's global fan base using Apple iOS devices can start sending and receiving digital payments, a feature that was previously limited to a small group for testing. The Silicon Valley company will also launch a fund to pay some users who host audio chat rooms on its Spaces feature. Those are just some of the changes coming to Twitter as it tries to compete against Facebook and YouTube, a unit of Alphabet's Google, in pursuit of content creators who can come with loyal followers in the millions valuable to Twitter's advertisers. In addition, Twitter is testing new ways to help users have a safer experience on its site. It will now include the use of warnings when people enter a, quote, heated conversation and allow users to leave tweet threads they no longer want to engage with. The social network is also exploring how to allow users to filter out certain words. No, that's just a bunch of censoring bull crap. I don't want to hear that. So yeah, like I said, you know, I think crypto is making moves and it's looking really good, guys. It really is. I'm not a financial advisor, but if you ain't bought no OMI yet, you might want to. Now I want to show you my cool little thing I got right here. Let me check this out. Check this out. Check this out. What bam? What's up, dog? Where's Turbo? Turbo, come here. What you doing, man? <laughs> How y'all like that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll let y'all in here. Y'all make all kind of noise when I'm not trying to make a video or something. <laughs> What's up, Big Turbo? That's my boy right there, guys. That's my boy. What's up? What's up? <laughs> ah, I thought that was pretty cool, guys. I really did. Uh, but yeah, I got a lot of stuff going on this week, and I'm gonna make a video about it. You don't worry. If you're a car guy, you're gonna love it. Okay, you're gonna love it. I, I haven't even done a beer review this week, but uh, yeah, I got a lot of stuff to do. I'll probably make another video Sunday. Um, if something happens, you know, I'm I'm I'll be a little I'll be out of town. I will, but uh, I'll definitely talk about it. So uh, y'all hang in there. If you're new, subscribe, like, turn on notifications. If you like this kind of bull crap, and I'm, it's gonna be a lot more stuff. I'm 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 gonna be shifting back to making some videos, but uh, I'm just a really really busy at work, and this new surprise is coming. Boom, baby, yes, yes, yes. All right, I'm a hush. I'm a hush. Hey, I'll catch y'all on the next one. Roll it.